Mr. Mwanda Faisal. Okay, thank you very much. We were still looking at... Uh, so, going forward, we had uh, reached to a level of discussing uh, uh, the, the, the trading features. And here I was trying to demonstrate uh, how uh, this works. Like whenever we we talk about these these bids, because these are the uh, trading features where you're going to see that uh, people go into to look into bids. It could be the the, the ask prices, the buy the, the buy orders, or the uh the ask orders all of that but other other exchanges usually use uh limit orders stop orders all, all of that stop limits something like that so all of that all th this kind of charts here which gives us uh what we call uh technical analysis and uh, people come here to look at how uh, the, the exchange looks like or how really uh, it is performing. Yeah. So traders use uh, these features to engage in various uh, trading strategies. So as they look at the way how the market is moving, then they can uh, definitely have decisions uh, to take or uh, choose onto what kind of strategies uh, they can use. Basing to the trading features uh, within uh, the, the exchange. Uh, lastly, we are going to talk about uh, the depots and withdrawals. You need to understand that users of the exchange can deposit uh, cryptocurrencies into their exchange wallet to start trading. And uh, here we can, uh, as we go here, we can look at this where uh, we can look at the depots because each and every currency or each and every network has got this, whereby each and every currency can be deposited or withdrawn. But again, if at all you go on to the depots right there, you can see that you have, uh, a, a, you, you can look at the BTC depots right here. You see this word BTC depots. It has a lot of features as we are going to talk about that. But this here, you can start trading as you look at your wallet because it might be funded. Just like here, you can see that I have some kind of uh, CTLX. I can start trading uh, my CTLX to the exchange. Whether I have Uganda Siringi, but uh, those are not yet integrated. But again, once you have any cryptocurrency, then your journey. Uh, it's easy to start within the exchange. And they can also withdraw funds from their exchange wallet to an external wallet if they wish. So you can, you can, any trader can decide to withdraw either, for example, uh, if at all I'm withdrawing cash telex, I can decide to send it to my, uh, to, to my uh, mobile wallet, which mobile wallet we all know is a standalone wallet. For safety, I can keep it there. Here, as you look at this exchange, we have what we call uh, depots and withdrawal addresses, as you, you can see here. But again, these are two key components used to send and receive cryptocurrencies. You see, once I click here, you can see the depots address. But again, here, uh, to withdraw, you can see how, and here, because it is important to understand the single message right here. Okay. Uh, it is important to understand that uh, a deposit address, this address right here, which you can copy, a deposit address is an alpha numeric string associated with your cryptocurrency wallet. This one, you see, it has uh, numbers and letters. Those numbers and letters are intentional, so they are part of security. But again, uh, it acts as a destination where you can receive 
uh, cryptocurrency from others, right? So you can send it to someone by copying. As you copy it, you put it into a WhatsApp, you paste it there or a, an email anywhere you want, any platform where you want uh, someone. For example, mm -hmm. this is a deposit address for, for Bitcoin. And this is uh, a deposit address for Litecoin. You're saying that these are different kind of, 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 of deposit addresses in the start. But you need to understand that if at all it is Bitcoin, it has to have, you just have to send Bitcoin address. For Litecoin, it has to be a uh, 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 Bitcoin, uh, uh, Bitcoin address. In other words, Bitcoin address for receiving Bitcoin. Cash Telex address right here, down here, if at all I send uh, the, the Cash Telex uh, address, it means that I want to receive a Cash Telex. That means that everybody dealing with the exchange has to have that in mind that whatever each currency I want, it is the currency I send. I want cash telex, I send the cash telex uh, 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 address. So considering that uh, uh, each cryptocurrency typically has its own unique format for deep, uh, for deepest address. For example, you can see here we, we, we've seen that for cash telex, it begins with, for example, for for dash, it begins with uh, with X. For 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 light, right there you can see right here it begins with M. But for Bitcoin, uh, you can see here it begins it usually begins with with three o one. So this format, someone has to have it in mind that each and every cryptocurrency has its own kind of. Uh, uh, format that it uses. So uh, uh, even others like Ethereum, they have their own uh, 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 formats that they use. So let us talk about the withdraw. For withdraw, it is a recipient's a recipient uh, cryptocurrency address when you initiate a transaction or withdraw from your own wallet or exchange wallet, right? This is why you're saying that you have to manage the, the address itself. But again, if at all you fail to manage it well, that means that you may end up sending or failing to send. But basing that you are given a proper way on how to manage your account by coming to manage, for example, right here, you create a new way. For example, you put here your label. It can be one. It can be any letter, any name you can then provide the address you've received. Then you add it, right? Just as this one is added. But again, the final way you must make, or you, you have to highlight uh, this default uh, circle. Each kind of address that you're managing means that you have to highlight this. Because as you fail, that means that you cannot send uh, that cryptocurrency. So when you want to send cryptocurrency to someone or make a withdrawal, an exchange wallet, you specify the recipient, uh, the recipient, the, the recipient is a uh, withdrawal address, right? This withdrawal address, it has to be there. You need to, 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 to understand. And specifying involves uh, looking at uh, the accuracy of it. And that's why we call for crucial double checking of the withdrawal address to ensure accuracy, accuracy uh, as cryptocurrency transactions are irreversible. So many people lose money while uh, withdrawing or depositing. And that's why we are looking at these features to understand them. As you put in your, your, your address and you manage it very well, that means that you are ready to send your cryptocurrency. And that's why here you put in the amount that you need to send, considering that uh, you also need an authenticator that is developed by your two factor authentication. So your two-factor authentication, in other words, the other authenticator, which has uh, the rotating numbers, you need it to be provided here, then you send it. And that's why we say as part of security that you need to secure that authenticator or secret key or cipher text or uh, no matter what you call it. So in my conclusion, I can say in senses. So in conducting a transaction to avoid potential loss of funds. 
Again, you have to understand that mistakenly sending crypto to the wrong address can result in irreversible transactions and loss of your uh, digital assets. So, thank you very much uh, for coming in and listening in. by microphone to uh, Mr. Abdallah. That thank is you, Mr. Mawanda, for that wonderful clarification and on to that issue. Thank you. I'd like to end this session by a closing prayer. May God bless our investment and then also may he guide us. Thank you for listening in tonight. Thank you for your patience. May the Almighty Amen. reward you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Good night to everyone. Thank you.